Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about writing the quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, given the radical roots. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So to get the equation class, we will be using this format, x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots equals 0. So let's start with number 1 for you to really understand this one. So number 1, so we have given roots x sub 1 equals 4 square root of 3 and our x sub 2 equals negative 4 square root of 3. So this will be our roots. So first thing to do, you copy x squared. So we will be using this equation. Let's copy x squared minus the sum of the roots. So we have 4 square root of 3 added by negative 4 square root of 3. So you add this one plus, it means sum. So the word sum there, you need, meaning you need to add these two roots. So 4 square root of 3 plus, so we have negative 4 square root of 3. I will just put parenthesis class because we're not allowed to have two signs close to each other. Okay, so two signs close to each other, we're not allowed to do that. That's why we need to put parenthesis. Alright, and then, close bracket, times x, alright, multiplied by x, plus their product. So, once again, product, it means we need to multiply these two roots. So, 4 square root of 3, okay, I will just put, you can actually put decimal point plus, it means multiplication, or, I will just put parenthesis, 4 square root of 3, times, negative 4 square root of 3. Alright, close bracket equals 0. Alright, so this will be copy x squared minus, now if you add this one, this will be 0. Okay, 4 square root of 3 plus negative 4 square root of 3, you can cancel this out. Because 4, okay, 4 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 3. Alright, so rules in radicals class, addition of radicals, you can only add or subtract. If they have the same radicand, so they have the same radicand, so therefore 4 minus 4, so 4 minus 4, that is 0, then copy the radicand square root of 3, and 0 times square root of 3, that is 0. Alright, so therefore, you can cancel this out, class. You can just simply cancel this out, so our answer inside the parenthesis is 0 times x, so 0 times x plus... We multiply this one, so this will be 4 square root of 3 multiplied by negative 4 square root of 3. Alright, so 4 multiply outside the numbers, 4 times negative 4. Once again, multiply outside the radicals. 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16. It's square root of 3 times square root of 3, that would be square root of 9. So check this one, class. Can we still simplify the radicals? Yep, we can still simplify 9. So what would be the square root of 9 class? So the square root of 9 is 3. So you put it outside the radical sign, then you multiply it by 16. So this will be copy negative 16, and the square root of 9 is 3. Put it outside the radical sign, then you multiply by 16. Once again, do not forget class, do not add your answer by 16. You multiply it by 16. So the square root of 9 is 3, then you, you multiply it by negative 16. So, negative 16 times 3, that's negative 48. Alright, so our answer in this particular bracket is negative 48. So, plus negative 48 equals 0. Alright, so this will be copy x squared. Now, since this is 0, 0 times x is 0. So, you can actually cancel this equation plus. You can cancel this out because 0 times x is 0. And then, positive times negative 48, you distribute. Positive times negative, that would be negative 48. Once again, positive times negative is negative. Copy 48. Positive times negative 48, that's negative 48, equals 0. That's it, plus that's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For number 1. So, this will be our answer for number 1. So let me box our answer. So x squared minus 48 equals 0. We canceled this one a while ago. Alright, so x squared minus 48 equals 0. 
Alright, so you pause the video class. I hope you understand for number one. Let's try number two class. Then you try to answer number three class. Let me check if you really understand our topic. You put your answer in the comment section down below. So let's try number two. Once again, copy x squared. So simply copy x squared minus then bracket the sum. So you need to add these two roots. So 2 plus square root of 3 plus 2 minus square root of 3. Right? Put the bracket, then times x plus their product. So this will be, you put a parenthesis, 2 plus square root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus square root of 3 close bracket equals 0. Once again, first thing you get the sum of these two roots. No need to put parenthesis because after plus is positive 2. So 2 square root of 3 plus 2 minus square root of 3. So you add the roots. Times x plus their product. So 2 square root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus square root of 3. Okay? Equals 0. So let's simplify this one first. So the sum. So this will be 2 plus square root of 3 plus 2 minus square root of 3. So the thing that you will do, class, you can simply arrange. Okay, arrange this one. So numbers, we arrange the numbers first. So this will be 2. So next, 2 and then copy 2 plus 2. Then plus square root of 3. Then minus square root of 3. Once again, class, I just arrange the equations. No need to worry. We just arrange the equations. So 2, copy 2, whole number. And then copy another 2, whole number. Then square root of 3. Then minus square root of 3. And then we can cancel this out because positive square root of 3 minus square root of 3, that is 0. So you can just simply cancel this out. And our answer will be 2 plus 2 is 4. Alright, so therefore inside this equation, the answer is 4. Alright, so this will be x squared minus and our answer for this particular bracket is 4 times x right and then we multiply this one plus what will be our answer for this one so let me answer this one so this will be okay, 2 plus square root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus square root of 3 so once again class if you have binomial so you need to use the FOIL method. Once again, do not forget, if this is binomial, you always use the FOIL method. First, outer inner class. We have two terms class. 2 plus square root of 3, this, are, this will be two terms, binomial. 2 minus square root of 3, this is also two terms, binomial. So if you have binomial, therefore, we need to use the FOIL method. Let's remember the FOIL method class. Okay, FOIL method. First, outer inner last. So first, multiply this one. 2 times 2, so that would be 4. First, so 2 times 2 is 4. Outer, so 2 times negative square root of 3. Okay, 2 times negative square root of 3. That would be negative 2 square root of 3. Once again, class 2 times negative square root of 3. So understood that before this square root, understood that there's one here outside the radical. If you didn't see any number class, understood that there's one outside the radical. So 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Then copy square root of 3. That's why we have negative 2 square root of 3. I hope you understand this one class. Sir, where, where, where did you get negative 2? So once again, 2 times negative square root of 3. So 2 times negative square root of 3. Understood that there's one here outside the radical. Do not forget, it's always 1. If you didn't see any number, understood to be 1. So 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Then copy square root of t. That's why we have negative 2 square root of t. Alright, and then inner. So positive square root of 3 times positive 2. So 2 times positive square root of 3. So once again, there's 1 here. Once again, because do not multiply the number and the radicals. Your answer is square root of 6. Nope, that's not correct. Always remember, just multiply outside the radical. Do not include the radical class. So this will be 2. If this is a whole number 2, and you multiply it with the radical, therefore you need to multiply the whole number 2 outside the radical. This one, the 1. Okay? 
do not forget about this one, Chris. Do not multiply 2 and square root of 3. It should be the one outside the radical. If this is square root of 2 times square root of 3, that's, that's it. You can multiply this one. This will be square root of 6. But since the first number is a whole number and the second term is a radical, therefore, we just need to multiply outside this radical in which there is understood to be 1. I hope you understand that one class. So this will be 2 times 1, that's 2, then copy square root of 3. Alright, 2 square root of 3. So positive 2 square root of 3. Alright, and then this will be first outer. Okay, first outer, we're, we're done with first, then outer, then inner, this one. Square root of 3 times 2, we have 2 square root of 3. Then last, so this will be square root of 3 times square root of 3. So square root of 3 times square root of 3. So once again, square root of 3 times square root of 3. Uh, sorry, square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. So square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. Once again, understood that there's 1 here outside. So 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. It's square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Alright, so I hope you're with me. So, 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's square root of 9. And still, we can simplify this one. What would be the square root of 9 plus? What's the square root of 9? Yep, that's correct. That is 3. So, you put it outside the radical, and then you multiply it by negative 1. So, this will be negative 1, and the square root of 9 is 3. So, put it outside, then you multiply it by negative 1. So, negative 1 times 3, that is negative 3. Alright, so we simplify the last term. It's just negative 3. So, once again, square root of 1. Okay, once again, square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. That would be 1 times negative 1. That's negative 1. Square root of 3 times square root of 3. That's square root of 9. Is square root of 9 is 3. You multiply it by negative 1. So, that would be negative 3. Or, there are some cases that you will think it this way. Once again, our answer a while ago is negative 3. But there are some students that they will do it like this. Square root of 3 multiplied by negative square root of 3. They will just put negative square root of 9. Alright, so negative square root of 9. Square root of 3 times square root of negative square root of 3. That would be negative square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. You put it outside, then you copy negative sign. So square root of 9 is 3. So copy negative sign and then 3. So it depends on you. You can have that answer. Go ahead. That's okay. So our answer is negative, negative 3. So our answer for this one is negative 3. Alright, and since we can combine this one, so negative 2 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3, this is 0. We can cancel this out plus. This will be 0. So cancel this out. And the remaining will be, so the remaining will be 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3. That would be 1. So, the, rem the remaining will be 1. So, therefore, our answer in this equation is just 1. So, this is just 1. Then, equals 0. I hope you're, you're with me, class. This is just 1. We cancel this out. And the answer for the square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is, ne that is negative 3. Alright? That is negative 3. Then, subtract 4 minus 3. That is 1. 4 minus 3, that is 1. Alright, and our final answer will be, so I hope you're with me, our final answer will be, copy x squared, negative times 4, negative times positive 4, that's negative 4, times x, that would be negative 4x. And then, positive times positive 1, that's positive 1, equals 0. That's it, plus this will be your answer for number 2. Alright, x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. That's it, class. That's how you find, okay, that's how you find the quadratic equation if the given roots are radicals. So, you try to answer number 3, class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Okay, so once again, if you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask. Once again, I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates class so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day. Bye-bye.